Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to fix generative fill if it's not working or even if it's not showing here in Adobe Photoshop. All right. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more such tutorials. So first up, just go ahead and open up the app and uh, make sure that you use any of these tools right here or any selecting tools. OK, just select any area in your uh, photo. OK, and you should be able to see generative fill right here. Sometimes it is grayed out. OK. Or right here at the bottom, it will be grayed out as well. And when you go ahead over to edit right here, here besides fill, you should be able to see generative fill. And if it's still grayed out, don't worry, I have plenty of solutions for you. Okay, so first one, just go ahead and open up your Adobe Creative Cloud and make sure that it is updated. Okay, once done, go ahead and check if it helps. If not, close the Photoshop app. Okay, close everything right here. Now, once that's done, just refresh. Okay. Now go ahead and uh, check your internet if you are connected because generative fill will only work if you're connected to the internet. Okay. If you're connected to the internet and if it's still not working, go ahead and uh, unplug your LAN cable or Ethernet cable if it's plugged in. Or if you're using Wi Fi, turn off Wi Fi, then turn it back on again. Okay. For Ethernet, just to plug it back in. And once done, go ahead and open up Photoshop and it should work now. Okay, if that still won't work, go ahead and go to your search bar and type in Windows Defender. Okay, click on it. Now, once this one loads, go ahead and go to the top left, click on Allow an App or Feature. Now, click on Change Settings right here. Now, go ahead and find Adobe Photoshop if it's here. If not, click on Allow Another App. Okay, head on Browse, look for the Photoshop's directory. Okay, if you can't find it, just uh, go to your taskbar right here. Now click on uh, the uh, show desktop button. Now go to find uh, Photoshop. Right click on it. Now show more options or open file location. Okay, there you go. Just click on it at the top. Right click and copy. Close this one. Paste that directory in here. Control V. And on open. Now go to find uh, Photoshop right here. Open. Add. Now, as you can see here, it's now added. Make sure that private and public are both ticked. Once done, hit on OK. Close this one. Restart your computer. And after that, you should be good to go. Well, I hope this video helps. And I'll see you in the next one.